well hello people and welcome back again to another vlog if you're new to my channel you're welcome my name is eva so today it's obviously a week of my life or two weeks i don't know it's going to be more of a chilled vlog um i have some things planned out to do hopefully it goes as planned um i just finished from the gym now i'm heading home I plan on filming a sit down video and wear makeup mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm excited to wear makeup i haven't worn makeup in what like three four months so yeah anyways that's so much for an intro i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you guys enjoy my vlog i actually enjoy um filming vlogs i hope you guys enjoy them and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already turn on your bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let's get this started hey guys so i'm back home and there's no light Think that i was super pumped i was ready i was coming home with the hope that i was coming to film a video or two and nepa just showed that they are still the boss man the thing is i don't have enough sunlight to film without my ring lights it's really cloudy outside it seems like it's going to rain so i can't even risk filming a video i actually want to do like a try on haul so i need all the light i can get and i can't turn on my generator because yeah it's going to be so much noisy i'm hoping that um with the use of my lapel mic you guys won't be able to hear the generator from the other flats but my generator is just right in front of my flat and there's no way I'll turn it on and it won't disturb the video. So, and I want to do like a talk through. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, the Nepa brings the light. If they do, then I'll go ahead and film the video. If not, then tomorrow, hopefully. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. I think I'll just go and do the other things I had planned for tomorrow. I wanted to wash, I wanted to relax my hair today, tomorrow, but I think I'll just go and do it today. Since I don't even think it makes sense to relax my hair tomorrow, I'm ready tomorrow. So I think I'll just go relax my hair today and then I'll braid, I'll do my braids tomorrow. Happy? Yep. If there's any other thing, Sha, I'll let you guys know okay guys so before i go out i wanted to show you guys some of the skincare products that i got for some reason my skin has been uh acting up a little bit say hello to michelle and obama <laughs> so yeah i completely changed every product that i was using before so these were actually recommended and i'm going to try them out i said it yesterday so i can't actually give a review but i just want to show you guys the products that i got so this is the carrot wash from the body shop it's just a energizing face cleanser so i didn't want a cleanser that has so much actives in it because i was going to be using a lot of serums and acids so i wanted just a gentle cleanser hence the reason why i got this and then then i got the neutrogena hydro boost water gel this is for combination and oily skin i am combination and oily skin so i got this for moisturizing and then i got the ordinary alpha abutin and the ordinary niacinamide plus zinc one percent so i've heard so much great things about these two guys here i heard that they're very good for hyperpigmentation which is what i 
mostly suffer from hyperpigmentation um, for the most part i would say my skin is smooth well no 100 percent smooth but yeah it's a bit smooth so i don't really have active acne except for these two visitors but they'll go away but what i suffer from the most is hyperpigmentation and i've read and heard good reviews about these two guys hence the reason why i bought them also i got the good molecules um niacinamide brightening toner so yeah toners are good for your skincare they like balances your skin ph and all of that and then this has niacinamide in it and niacinamide is very very good for hyperpigmentation so like i said my major skin concern is hyperpigmentation so i tend to gravitate towards skin products that contain brightening agents so hence the reason why i got this and last but not least obviously spf and guys i tried this yesterday if no i tried this this morning before i went to before i went out to the gym and it doesn't leave a white cast <laughs> it doesn't leave a white cast see women of color this is your best friend this should be your best friend for women of color because i've tried several other um, sunscreen from different brands i've tried from um cos rx i think that's how it's pronounced i've tried from the body shop i've tried from i've even tried one from simple and then another type from this same neutrogena brand but this hydro boost one it's the bomb like it's very very good it leaves no white cast which is what we all want because being someone of a deeper skin tone applying sunscreens that have that leave white cast is just it does it doesn't look good here yeah, it doesn't look good so this is really nice um so those are the products i got hopefully they work for me because yeah i've heard so much nice reviews about this product that i got and if it works i'll come back and tell you guys if it doesn't um oh. <laughs> but i pray it does so yeah let me go out now <laughs>
유난히도 캄캄한 밤에 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah, yeah. 유난히도 캄캄한 밤에 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah, yeah. 유난히도 캄캄한 밤에 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah, yeah. 유난히도 캄캄한 밤에 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah, yeah. 유난히도 캄캄한 밤에 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 Hey guys, so I, um, I was stuck on the road um, around Chevron on my way back from the restaurant that was two days ago um i had i was deaf to like i left lecky because the restaurant was around lecky i left lecky around 3 p.m and as at 2 a.m the following day i had not gotten to chevron yeah i was supposed to be mad but man i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't mad if you've not been living under the rock you must have heard of the nsas protest that the youth have embarked on for it's been almost seven days or eight days if i'm not mistaken um i should have been mad because i had work to do i needed to be home i needed to do certain things but actually i wasn't i've never felt i've never felt this much joy about a cause in my life before i am so so proud of my generation that we can stand in one voice and make the world shudder at the sound of our feet. Enough is enough. If you're against this protest, just know that you're safe today does not guarantee that you will be safe tomorrow. It's, it's okay if you cannot make meaning, if you cannot make sense of what we're doing right now as an older generation or as an older person, we do it for ourselves, we do it for our children, we do it for our future. The older generation failed us and we do not want to fail ourselves, we do not want to fail our children, we do not want to fail our next generation. Enough is enough. SAS must end, SWAT must end, whatever name they change it to, if they like they change it from SWAT to something else, it must end. The thing is these guys don't really understand what we have been clamoring for, what we have been agitating for it it goes beyond sas it go, goes beyond sas this is about ending police brutality this is about reforming the nigerian police force you would never understand why people as an older generation you would never understand why the youth are clamoring for this thing why the youth are agitating for this thing I have friends, I have family members. These are people that are children of retired policemen, just like as, just as I am, that have gone through this brutality from these SARS guys, from these policemen who are supposed to be protecting us. How do you, how do you see a young man or a young woman who is doing well for herself and you just assume that because the economy is hard, because things are not working in the country, then that particular person should not be able to afford such lifestyle. How do you, I, I cannot comprehend. These guys need complete psychological evaluation before they can be put back into the force.
it is not about changing their names and then putting the same guys back into the SWAT team. No, that is not what we want. I don't see this. I don't see this this protest ending anytime soon because the president, because the government of Nigeria is not even they're not even reasoning with us. And to think that yesterday I saw videos of pro SAS or whatever it, whatever name they call themselves. Let me not even try to hide anything N youth from the north damaging people's vehicles damaging people's cars damaging lives and properties all because they've been paid by this same government to disrupt the the the, the, the peaceful protest that has been going on this is barbaric and this is what we are asking for this is the whole essence of why we are trying to do all this is we're doing it's unfortunate that the youth in the north they've been so so ignorant of the fact that these polit their political leaders have put them in a box and have thrown the key away honestly we know what we want we will not back down we will not because of these political talks these guys from the north that they have been paid to disrupt our peaceful protest and back down never our demands must be met and they must act fast enough is enough